<laughs> I was like, what were you doing with my drapes? The drapes that were hanging in the apartment. I never got the answer to that. Hi, this is Carrie from Sky Properties. So the other day I saw a hilarious clip about comfort animals on the Ellen DeGeneres show, which we're gonna show you here in a minute, but it sort of depicts what we have to put up with in the housing industry and the airlines are able to uh, roll that back, but so far in the housing industry, we just have to accept them. Take a look and tell me what you think. Uh, Carrie at skyprop.la. A lot of people are bringing emotional support animals with them on a plane. Someone brought a pig on a plane and uh, I, it's a lot. It's a huge pig. Huge. Then someone tried to bring a peacock on, and they didn't let the. That was an emotional support animal, and and gave me an idea for a new product. I came up with this, and um, I think this is going to be fantastic. This is an emotional support luggage. Okay, so it is way bigger than your carry-on, so you can pack a bunch of extra stuff in here, and they can't charge you extra because it's wearing a vest. So it's, um, this is a limited edition. I only made one, so we'll start the opening bid at $10,000, 10000 10000 okay, $10,001, 10000 10000 wow, this actually is working. This is, seriously? No, but if you wanted to do it, it could. Uh, so the big deal in the housing industry uh, for comfort animals is that they're beginning to get a little bit outrageous. There's some ways to cope with it. Um, one of the best ways to cope with uh, therapy and emotional support animal is just to make sure that you get the proper paperwork in order. And uh, we had our attorney prepare a package uh, that lays out everything you need to get uh, the dog into the apartment or cat or pig or snake or peacock as the case may be. Um, and that paperwork uh, makes it really clear uh, who's responsible and what to do. So I highly recommend that everyone get that packet from their attorney and make sure that everything is in order so that it's not a question of something that something happens.